Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander here. This is the show where we review every vintage G.I. Joe toy from 1982 to 1994. And this is a brief, full review of the 1993 Flak Viper version 2 action figure. This review will cover the basic information for Flak Viper version 2 and the differences between version 1 and version 2. This is information I should have included in the review of Flak Viper version 1, but I didn't think of it until after I had already finished that review. Some of these later versions of earlier figures that came out in 1993 and 1994 were almost exactly the same as their earlier version, and they don't really warrant a full feature-length review. In the future, I will try to review them alongside their earlier versions, and that's what I should have done here. Flak Viper version 2 was released in 1993 and was available in 1993 only. It was discontinued for 1994. It was number 9 in the Battle Corps series. It used exactly the same mold as version 1 for both the figure and the accessories. Looking at version 1 and version 2 side by side, you can see they are basically the same. The only real difference is they changed the blue plastic and paint to bright orange. It was the 90s, and they made the mistake of releasing a Cobra figure with a decent color scheme, and they couldn't have that, so they changed it to orange. Looking at Flak Viper's accessories, his rifle is exactly the same as version 1, but in a bright orange color instead of blue. Uh, it has all the same advantages and problems as that version 1 rifle. Next, looking at his missile launcher backpack. Uh, the backpack itself appears to be identical to the version 1 backpack. I don't see any color or molding differences. The only real difference between these two backpacks is the color of the trigger, bright orange on version 2 and blue on version 1. The missiles are also the same except for a color difference, of course. Uh, very bright orange missiles on version 2, and blue missiles on version 1. If we can bring out Dr. Mindbender for a moment, we can demonstrate that these missiles, like on version 1, will really fire. Oops, missed the first time. Let's try to get him this second time. Ah, we actually knocked down Dr. Mindbender this time. The missiles appear to use exactly the same mold as the missiles for version 1. They are identical other than the color, and they are interchangeable. You can put those version 2 missiles in the version 1 backpack, and it will still fire. The final accessory is the figure stand. Uh, it is a basic black figure stand, and this appears to be the same as the figure stand for version 1. Let's take a look at Flak Viper version 2's file card, and as you can see, they updated the color in the artwork to reflect the version 2 coloring. This is the main reason I consider version 2 to be a new version and not just a variation on version 1. They didn't just change the color of the figure and the accessories they did also update the packaging the other subtle difference in the artwork is these features that are numbered here and have arrows on the figure the numbers and arrows are in a slightly different order but the list of features is the same the font is a little different but the actual text of the list of features is the same. In fact, I only notice one real text difference between these two file cards, so I won't read the full version 2 file card. I'll just point out the differences. The text difference I notice is on the version 1 file card, under the code name Flak Viper, it says Cobra Anti-Aircraft Trooper. It doesn't have that on version 2. Instead, it has Primary Military Specialty Anti-Aircraft Trooper. Everything else, the quote and the paragraph under it, are the the same. Uh, the font, as I said, is a little different. They're using, looks like, a smaller font on the version 2 file card, but the text itself is the same. If I had to choose between these two guys, I prefer version 1. I still think the backpack is a bit silly, but I much prefer the color scheme of version 1. That was my review of Flak Viper version 2. It really should have been part of the review of Flak Viper version 1, but I didn't think of it in time, so there you go. If you're just sick of all the mistakes I make, 
like in these videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know you're smarter than me. And to catch all the mistakes I make in future videos, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so no mistake goes unnoticed. Thanks to all my patrons for supporting this channel. If you'd like to help fund this parade of errors, make sure you check out Patreon. Thanks for watching, and until next time, don't forget that uncreative and overused catchphrase I totally made up for this show, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.